Hey guys, it's your girl Lash Stone XO. How are you guys doing today? Um, so this is a requested video. Actually, what I've been doing, you guys, just so you know, in case you want to leave a comment down below for all my faithful subscribers, I pretty much know your names. When I see a name now, I it clicks on my head like. I know them. I talk to them all the time. And I've been getting requests lately for specific videos. So what I do is I have a little notebook and I love to write. So I pretty much write down every video suggestion that my like uh, fave subscribers or you know long time subscribers ask me to do. And a recent video I was asked to do um, was actually probably one of the first videos I've ever done which was a what's in my bag video and I try to do one every season um, so I will link my what's in my bag videos um, I'll link them up here and then I might um, put a card at the end of this video with I think I have two so this will be my third what's in my bag and this one is actually summer edition so yeah it is summer now guys i cannot believe it um for you guys that don't know um summer is my birthday i'm a june baby and i'm having a mk giveaway for my birthday um it's going to be going on all through june i'll put that card up here for you so you can check it out make sure you watch that video enter in that giveaway and the rules and everything are on the video so very simple but today we're gonna do one of my favorite videos to watch it's probably my favorite video to watch my favorite video to do and just because i'm very like one of those nosy people i think most of us really are we want to know what is in her bag you know like what does she have in that bag over there um so if you watched my target haul i will put that video i will try to link that video up here if you watch my target haul you know that for summer i just bought a new bag and it's not a michael kors bag it's a target bag and this is what it looks like you guys very very pretty and i love it because it's so uh neutral my Starbucks just leaked everywhere. I don't know why, but I just made a mess. Okay. Let's just sling off the coffee. I don't... Ha oh, yeah, I do. I was going to say I don't have anything to wipe it up with, but I just washed this. So, I kind of do have something to wipe it up with. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I just got this at Target. And if you've been watching my channel a long time... When I do my, um, sorry, I'm trying to clean up this coffee mess that I made. Um, when I do my what's in my bag videos, they're always Michael Kors bags because I have so many. If you guys want to see a, um, handbag collection, let me know in the comments. Um, I started my channel in 2015 and I've been collecting Michael Kors bags for at least a few years now and... I'm obsessed with them, so I have a lot, probably more than most people have. So if you want to see like a handbag collection or something like that, comment below. I'll be happy to do so. But this is um my new bag I got at Target, and I saw it online, and it just looked really like an expensive bag. It's not real leather, obviously. It's from Target. I paid thirty nine ninety nine, so forty about forty bucks for it. I usually pay about 340 bucks for my handbags, but this was only 40 bucks. Um, now this right here is Michael Kors. Um, this little puff ball is Michael Kors. So it has the Michael Kors logo on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it does. So this is Michael Kors, but this is Target. And it has a chain on it, and then it has the little, uh, what do you call these things? <laughs> Handles. I don't know where my mind is. But, um, so anyway, the front 
of it has this little gold bar, which I think is really pretty. And it's really cool because you can open it like this and it'll just open a little bit. I usually just throw my phone like right there. Um, but when I'm at home, I take my phone out, obviously. Um, but you also can unzip it all the way down, you guys, and then it opens wider. So let's open the front and see what is in here. I actually have a grocery list. Um, well, it's not a grocery list. It's a makeup list. Oh, look at that, you guys. Yeah. I take notes. I told you I love to write. So I'm always writing down either something for my 3k giveaway or a makeup item that I want to try or that I'm out of and I either throw my um, my little note um, or here's my phone or my phone and I throw both of them in the front part of the pocket because if I'm at Target or if I'm at wherever the movies and I need to turn the volume down it's just right here and I don't have to dig through this big bag so that's really cool and like I said it's really cool because it's kind of unique the way the zippers are made on here um so anyway and then it's just got like a magnetic closure if I can close it like that and I'm just gonna leave this out um leave my phone out leave this out everything that is in my purse I'm gonna take out because I kind of like to clean my bag out once a week anyway so, oh, and then also have a Target shirt on. It says, the hustle is real. The hustle is real. Okay, so let's unzip this bad boy and see what's all in here. So, it's really cool because it has a huge, like, mouth on it. It's got a zipper here. And just like on the Michael Kors bags, um, it has two pockets. One for, like, a phone or sunglasses or whatever you want to put in here but i usually put like gum and stuff like that it's my phone if you want to know what that noise was um so in this pocket the first pocket i have some listerine little like a little mint spray like if you want to kiss your hubby um or kiss whoever um you spray and you have fresh breath so i love to keep mints uh breath spray or gum in my purse um so i have gum i usually have a mint flavored gum but this one is the sour patch kids um i love the sour patch uh candy oh my gosh i eat those at the movies i like to eat them when i'm watching tv i just really love sour patch kids i love the sour taste but the gum uh, I'm not a big fan of, I like more of a mint flavored gum. I don't know why, I just do. But I saw this and I was like, what the hell, let's try it. Um, so I did. I got two pieces left. One there, one there. But, um, I won't repurchase. It's my phone, guys. Hold on one second. Um, I've got a feminine, feminine? <laughs> I've got a pad. I always try to keep one. If I'm on my period or not, I try to keep um, female products in my bag because I'm the type of person, I don't keep up with it, so I'll be like, I'll be out shopping or something, I'll be like, oh crap, I need a pad quick, and I won't have one, and then my husband got tired of me bitching about it, so it's like, always keep something like that in your bag at all times, so then I started doing that. And he was right because you just never know. So I keep that in there. And that is um, in the this little zipper pocket. And sometimes I keep my mod all in there too. But since I just started today, I had really bad cramps. And um, my mod all is on my office desk in there. So it's not in my purse right now. Um, also, I have my glasses, which... I only re read, I only use these to read, and they're, I get so many compliments on these, but they're by Tom Ford, they're Tom Ford glasses, it's the only thing that I own by Tom Ford, but it is the best investment I've ever made, I say I, my husband bought them for me, um, they were super duper expensive, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, they were like quadruple, 
the price of Ray-Bans. Um, yeah, they were really, really expensive. Um, so, but they're so worth it. I mean, just look. Yeah, I know, right? Every time I put these on, I know my hair looks like crap right now, you guys, but every time I wear these, a little bit of Marilyn comes out of me. If you've ever seen the movie How to Marry a Millionaire, she wears these, like, really pointed cat eye glasses, and she she's kind of a like a sexy nerd type in that movie. It's one of my, my favorite Marilyn movies, um, and she wears these little cat eye glasses, and when I seen these, I didn't even know they were Tom Ford's when I picked them up. I was like, OMG, I want those. Um, did I say sunglasses? No. I want those glasses. And, yeah, and then they just fit my face, like, perfectly. They're navy, gold, and brown. So, there's, it's really cool because they're, like I said, the gold is at the top. The frames are navy. And then underneath, um are brown so they're super and then on this side it's brown so it's super cute it's just it's so unique and then it, of course it has the little Tom Ford uh, what do you call those I don't even know what you call them but anyway I love those glasses they're like my everything um, also my Michael Kors wallet I have a couple of Michael Kors wallets but this is the smallest one I own and I just really like to keep a small wallet because, I don't know, I don't like to take up a bunch of room in my bag in case I need to throw a bunch of crap in here. Um, so, right now, I have no cash in here. I just have a bunch of business cards. My business cards look like this. Lashes Tony XO. Info on that side. Um, and then, just my, um, uh, better cover that up. My driver's license and all my got a Starbucks gift card and just my cards. That's all. And then I got a bunch of change in here. That's all I have. Pretty boring wallet. I took all my receipts out. Um, the only like brush thing I have is this little thing right here. It has a other part to it, but I lost it. So basically, I just try to keep the tangles out of my hair. Usually this, uh, I like this brush because it does not, like, hold a bunch of hair in it. And, like, other brushes, I guess because the teeth are so far apart that it doesn't collect hair. And I love that. So, because my other brush has, like, just clumps of hair in it. It's really gross and I don't like it in my purse. So, anyway. Then I have, uh, just a house key. A cute little saying in my little Starbucks, uh, cup. So I have that. Um, then I have my favorite sunglasses. It says Ray-Bans on here, but they're not Ray-Bans. I gave the Ray-Bans to my husband um, because I just never wore them. And they were kind of expensive. They were like, I don't know, $250, $300 something dollars. And I never wore them. So I gave them to my husband. And um, I was at Urban Outfitters, you guys. And I saw these. I think I told you guys in about about them in a haul and so yeah I really really love these but these were like I don't know how much they were so I don't want to lie and tell you they were like five ten dollars when they were twenty or twenty five dollars I don't know how much they were I just know I got them at Urban Outfitters um and I since they they will break very easily I keep them um in this little Ray-Ban pouchy thing um it really protects them so i got that and then i got this thing right here um from sephora and you're supposed to hook it to your phone but i like it because it's got a light on it i don't know if you can see but like if i'm out and maybe i'm in the car and i drop something it's dark outside or i drop something on the ground I need a little flashlight. You hook this to your phone and it gives you a little flashlight. So it's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, I forgot it gets brighter. It gets like super bright, dim, and then like mega bright. 
so I forgot. But, yeah, I got that free one time. I can't even remember why, but then the rest of the stuff, oh, I forgot I got these. Um, I'm trying to go through my hand sanitizers because um, I always forget to put them in my handbag, and I always need hand sanitizers. So, I just put all of them in my bag. I have four that I'm trying to go through, and then I have one on my office desk. Um, so the, the, I was gonna say flavors, but yeah, I'll just call them flavors. The flavors I have, have two sprinkled donuts. This one is almost ready for an empties video. Um, and then I have this sprinkled donut, which obviously is full. And then I have two little Halloween ones. This one is, what does this say? I can't, I don't know what it is. It's black and I don't know. I can't really see the, I don't know. I can't read that. Sorry. I don't know what it says. Okay. And this one right here is another Halloween one. It's called the Perfect Potion and it's in the flavored pumpkin. This one's full, too. But, I mean, pumpkin, I don't, you can't really tell that it's, it doesn't smell like pumpkin. And this one smells like a, like a hand soap. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm trying to use these up so I can get some new flavors for the summer, like some tropical coconut ones or something. So, I'm trying to use those bad boys up. I, I got this last year. So, the last stuff I have in my bag is makeup. Um, I'll show you my makeup that I have. Um, I always keep this in my purse. This is like a makeup must-have in my purse. And it's the Makeup Forever. Um, I don't know what it's called. Oh, it says Ultra HD Compact. But it's got like a huge mirror in here. I just keep a sponge in here. But basically what it is... It is just like a blotting powder. There's no color to it. It's just for like a blotting. So if you're if it's really hot outside or you're oily, you take a little sponge or something and just kind of press it into your skin like that. I'm always kind of shiny on my forehead or right there. And that's what I do. So, this is a must-have. I would highly recommend it if you have oily or combo skin for the summer. It's a total must-have. Some more makeup products I have. I've been obsessed with this, guys. This is probably going to be in my June favorites. I totally forgot about this. It's by Marc Jacobs. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a highlighter cream. It looks like a deodorant. But it's a highlighter cream. And it's in the color spotlight and it just totally is a spotlight you guys look at that it's very creamy I have it on today so if you like my kind of highlight I got going on today that's what I'm using I would say if you have um dry skin you would freaking go crazy crazy over this stuff. I think you would totally go nuts um, if you have dry skin because it just gives your skin this gorgeous glow. Like, oh my gosh. Do you see that? Anyway, I totally forgot I had this and I never really wore it because I have oily skin and I was like, okay, if I wear that, I am going to be so freaking shiny, um, but just wear it, like, right here. Don't, like, put it directly on your pores. Just try to keep it as high as possible, and then a little bit on the, the end of the nose or something like that. If you have oily to combo, I would say do it like that, but if you have uh, normal or dry skin, load your face up with this stuff because... You are going to look so hydrated and beautiful. So, I would highly recommend this one. Like I said, this is definitely going to be in my June favorites. This is the Marc Jacobs um, Spotlight. So, definitely a must-have for the summer if you want 
glowy skin. Okay, and if you want bronze skin, I've got another must-have. Um, I like to keep this in my purse because it's kind of like a threefer. Um, it's by it's by Urban Decay. It's called Naked um, Flushed, and it's in the color Streak. And the reason why I love this one so much is because let's say I don't want to carry a bronzer, a contour, a blush, and a highlight all in my bag, and I just want to throw this in my bag with it's. I get it at Ulta, but let's just say that you're in a hurry, whatever, and everything's in this thing. So, you get like a huge mirror to do your makeup, and then let's say you need some blush. It's good. It's got a, like a gorgeous peachy color. It's got a really pretty bronzer. It's just like, ow, that was my finger. It's like a total, like, throw it in your purse and go product. So, I would highly recommend this one. If you want blush, bronzer, and highlight, and you don't want to carry a bunch of crap in your purse, that is a really good one. Look at this highlight, you guys. I am obsessed with my face today. I know, right? Okay. Then the last thing I have in my bag, the last thing, you guys, that's in my bag. Um, and it is a bag a makeup bag it's an Ipsy bag actually and it's full of lipstick products so i'm gonna show you what's in here i think there's some eye products in here too but okay so the first lip product i have i gotta make some room i've got like stuff over a while um ah knock stuff over okay so the first lipstick i got is the lancome matte shaker and i got this for mother's day from my son Benjamin and I love this lipstick. It smells so good. I'm gonna swatch these lip these lip products maybe. Maybe. Um, but it's a matte shaker. You can hear it. And it's awesome. And I got the color beige vintage. Vintage I can't even speak. Beige vintage. And here's the color. That's the highlight right there. But there's the color of this little matte shaker so that is that the other lip product I have um, I have two wet and wild lip products one of them I'm wearing today um, I'm actually wearing today I'm wearing the um, wet and wild and I'm going to swatch that too. I love this color, you guys. It's beautiful. So beautiful. There it is. That's what I'm wearing today. And I love the point of these. They, like, really get into your lips. They're really, really affordable liquid lipsticks. If you are on a budget, but yet you want liquid lipsticks and you can't afford Kat Von D or Kylie or anything like that, I would say get the Wet n Wild ones. They are really, really good. Um, the other one I have in my bag is called Nudist Peach. And it's the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit and Nudist Peach. I love this one. I'll put the card right here. I did an everyday makeup look. And so many people gave me compliments on my makeup look. And I was wearing this liquid lipstick in it and i'm thinking since so many people liked it i'm thinking about putting it in the 3k giveaway just because it's such a natural peachy nude color that i think everybody can wear and this is it right here it's a very peachy nude color and they smell they smell nice they're not strong or anything like that i have two more lip products in my bag which are like holy status grails um it's the kat von d um lipstick in sanctuary and i was thinking about putting this one also in my 3k giveaway just because this is like a holy grail product and you guys know that i have been wearing this lipstick color for a long time and you guys always ask me when i wear the dark lip like this is it right here I'll wear it and my teeth will look so, so white. And everybody will be like, what color are you wearing? It's Kat Von D um, Sanctuary. And it's right here. 
So those are all the lip products I have in my bag. I have one more lip pro product in my bag, and it is the Kylie Matte Lipstick in my favorite color, um, Coco K. I pretty much have all her liquid lipsticks, but Coco K is by all means my favorite one. And I don't know, it almost, to be honest with you, it almost looks like Rebel Rose. I'm wearing Rebel Rose today. I think Rebel Rose might be a little bit darker. This is Coco K and this is Rebel Rose. So I think, I think Coco K is a little bit lighter. It smells so good though. It smells like candy, you guys. It smells like yummy, yummy. So those are all the beautiful lip shades I have in my purse. Um, and I'm supposed to have a lip liner in here, but I don't know where it is. That's weird. It's probably at the bottom of my, no, because I emptied out my purse. I don't know where my lip liner is, but I usually carry a MAC lip liner in, um, Soar or Spice. So those are my two favorite MAC lip liners. I usually carry it in my purse, but I guess it's in my makeup stuff. And then I also have, I've really been loving the It Cosmetics Superhero. And this is just the trial size one um, mascara. I'm wearing it today. And it like stretches your lashes like crazy. I'm like obsessed. It like really stretches your lashes. So, and this one is also in the 3K giveaway. So if you haven't tried the Superhero It Cosmetics mascara, it's going to be in the 3K giveaway. So, this stuff is amazeballs. Um, the last product I have in my purse is another favorite. It might be in the 3K giveaway. I just haven't bought it yet. But it's the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner. I'm wearing it today. It does a really pretty flick. And you just kind of turn it over on its side and flick it up. And it's really pretty. It's really pigmented. And just make sure... You push the top and you'll hear the little snap. Anyway, that's everything in my summer edition what's in my bag video. I had a request for it. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. I want to say you are my people. You are my YouTube family and I love you to pieces. Bye guys. Love you.